Hi, I'm John J. Muth. I'm here today to talk about my writing process and all about Zen Shorts. I've always drawn and painted and told stories, so I never remember actually choosing to become an illustrator. I just have always done it that way. I thought I would be a painter, but then when I moved from where I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, to New York, I, um, I had to make some money, as we all do, so I ended up uh, working in comics um, because that was a place where you would naturally be able to put words and pictures together. There was a magazine where uh, that I thought I might be able to paint a cover for it because, as I said, I was a painter. And so I did, uh, I did some painted stories. And that, at that point, that was kind of unusual. Um, most of what they saw, what you saw in comics, was drawings, line drawings, and then uh, you would have uh, color would be placed on top of that or inside of the, those lines. And I did a, two short stories that I wrote and illustrated. And I took them in just to show and as an example uh, to the editor what they might be able to use. You might be able to use my artwork because um, on a cover or something like that. But they actually bought the stories. I mean, they just bought them and totally astounded me. And that started my relationship with uh, what at the time was Marvel Comics. I think what I learned by drawing comics and illustrating different stories that way made it much easier to understand how I was moving the reader through the kinds of things that a picture book would require. And so I'd say everything I learned about storytelling in book form came from my work in comics. Both of my parents were teachers. My mother was an art teacher and she would take me to art museums just about every weekend. And so I had access to uh, the Cincinnati Art Museum to begin with, which was a great place uh, to see paintings and to see stories actually on the wall. A lot of the times the paintings looked like stories to me and they were stories. And I would watch those or I'd look at those pictures and then I would, if I didn't know that particular story, I'd tell myself a story about it. I'm always interested, as I grew up, I'm always, I've always been interested in where things come from. And in the Zen Shorts book, uh, I wanted to offer uncommon stories, uncommon ways of looking at things. And I was trying to think of who would be a good example of, uh, of a storyteller that would actually tell those stories, because many of them were from Asia. And um, so I was thinking about this, and I realized I wanted to have a character that would be like a spiritual teacher that lived, but lived in my neighborhood, lived down the street from me. So, or lived down the street from these children that I'd been, you know, had, had the chance to read to and meet. So I uh, was thinking about who would that be? And I came across a drawing in a drawer uh, I had done a while ago of a panda wearing a pair of shorts. And he was looking at the shorts, trying to figure out why he was wearing them. He just looked very nonplussed. And I realized that's the guy. The name Stillwater came when I was trying to decide what the name of this bear would be. And I was trying to think of uh, something that expressed his character. And I thought about the Zen parable of how water, if it's still can reflect the moon and by that we mean reality so the uh, the name still water came from the idea of still water reflecting the world as it is whereas agitated water or water that's running or busy or jumbled up doesn't really show you the reality very well and if your mind is still then you have a better chance of actually understanding what you're experiencing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy what I've gotten a chance to share with you today. And I hope you enjoy sharing Zen Shorts with your class.